So now I want you to experience your mind-body connection in action for you. So we're going to do a few or three actually experiments so that you can really experience what happens in your body when you think a certain thing. So I would like you to now close your eyes, get yourself into a comfortable position, breathe and just allow your breath to deepen and allow your body to soften and allow your body to be present in this moment. Breathe. Are your eyes still closed or are you watching me? Just checking. <laughs> so close your eyes. Really be 100% present within this experiment. And now in your imagination, I want you to imagine that you are holding a ripe, juicy lemon in your hand. Just imagine that for a moment or two. You're holding the lemon. And now you're bringing that lemon up to your nose and you're giving it a bit of a sniff. Mmm, smells nice and lemony. Okay, so now in your imagination, I want you now to pick up in an imaginary knife and you are going to cut that lemon in half. And now you're going to take one half of that lemon and you are going to bring it up to your mouth. And now you are going to give that half a lemon that you've just cut in half a big lick with your tongue. Oh, how juicy that lemon is. Taste that lemon. Oh, feel that tangy juiciness. And now you're going to lift your face up, open your mouth, and you're going to squeeze a whole load of that lemon juice into your mouth. Mmm, now just notice what's going on in your body. Just notice what's going on in your mouth. And now I want you to take a big bite out of that lemon. Take a great big bite out of that lemon. Mmm, now start chewing it. Mmm. Okay, enough. <laughs> okay, in your mind's eye now, you're putting down that lemon, you're spitting it out. You don't want any more of that lemon in your mouth. Spit it out. Take a deep breath, put down your imaginary knife and open your eyes. Okay, so what went on for you there? What went on? Did you notice anything within your mouth? Did you notice your salivic glands operating? <laughs> did you feel your mouth water? If you did, then you've just experienced your mind-body connection in action. So what that meant was that you were thinking something and your body believed it. So it released chemicals in your body and it released instructions in your body and your body responded, yeah? So your saliva was probably working overtime to, <laughs> to combat the, uh, the acidity and the juiciness of the lemon. So what you need to notice in this experiment is that actually you weren't licking a lemon, you weren't actually eating a lemon, you were only thinking it, you are only imagining it and this is how powerful your mind is. So now we're going to do another experiment. So this one, just keep your eyes open for a moment and wherever you're sitting, just make sure you're sitting in a comfortable position and this time you're going to be holding out your hands, your arms, you're going to be holding them out. So just Bring your elbows in towards your body, but your hands are raised upwards. Just notice the height of your hands and where are they in relation are they in relation to your body? Yeah? So now you know where your hands are. Now close your eyes. 
Taking another deep breath in. And let your breath go, keeping your hands up raised. And now I want you to imagine that somebody is placing a very heavy brick in your right palm. Yeah, can't you feel how heavy that is? Okay, so somebody now has just placed a heavy brick in your right hand. Notice how heavy that is. And now in your left hand, somebody has just placed a helium balloon and they've tied the helium balloon from a piece of string around one of your little fingers. And now you notice how light that helium balloon is, feeling so light, like a fluffy cloud. And now bringing your attention back to your right arm, your right hand, and you're noticing somebody is now placing a second brick in your right palm. And they've just placed that second brick in your right hand and it is so heavy and you're feeling the weight of that heavy, heavy brick. And you're imagining and you're feeling it so heavy in your right hand. You can barely keep the weight of that brick, but you are, you are able to keep the weight of the bricks in your hand. And now you bring your attention to your left hand and somebody has come along who has a big stack of helium balloons and they're placing a second helium balloon in your hand and they're just tying the base of the string of the helium balloon around another finger and you're noticing how light that helium balloon is compared to your heaviness of your right hand. And then somebody comes along and places a third brick in your right hand. Oh my goodness, yes, a third brick. They place it in your right hand and you're noticing now, you can barely keep the strain. You can barely hold up the three bricks. It is so heavy. And you're noticing what's going on in your body right now. You're noticing what's going on in your shoulders. You're noticing what's going on in your arm and your hand. And you're noticing how heavy those bricks are. And in your left hand, another helium balloon is being placed and a tie string is being placed around another finger and you're noticing how light in comparison your left hand is so light that helium balloon lifts your left hand up with its weightlessness with its lightness and you're noticing what's happening in your body. You're noticing what's happening in your muscles. You're noticing what's happening in your breathing. And without changing the position of your hands, you open your eyes. You open your eyes, where are your hands? Just notice the position of your hands. Have they moved from where they were when you started the experiment, yeah? So you might have found that one of your hands has gone up, the one with the helium balloon, or you might have noticed the ones with the brick in has gone right down. Yeah, okay, well now relax your shoulders. Breathe, relax, and just move your shoulders around and just let go of any of the tension that you might have been holding there. So did you notice anything going on in your body there? Did you notice any tension in your muscles, even though it was imaginary, even though it wasn't real, your body believed it was real. Okay, so our third experiment, the last one. So closing your eyes again, getting comfortable in your chair or your bed or wherever you're sitting, just getting comfortable again in your, in your position, allowing the body to become relaxed, closing your eyes. Breathing deeply, letting go of any tension in the body, just letting, letting it go, and feeling your body getting heavier and heavier within the chair or whatever you're sitting on, just allowing the body to get heavy and relaxing as your body is sinking further and further and relaxing more and more. Breathe. 
And in your imagination now, I just want you to cast your mind back to a situation in your past. It can be a recent past or a distant past, but it's, it's, a, it's a time in your past where you felt really happy. It's a time, a moment in time it might be, or it might be a situation that you've had or an event that you went to, or just, yeah, a moment where you felt really happy. Just picture that in your mind's eye. What were you doing and what were you feeling? Who were you with? So just picturing that scene in your mind's eye. And just noticing that scene in your mind's eye and picturing it as vividly as you possibly can. Just an imagining that beautiful time that you had, that happy, joyful time just replaying it like a movie screen in your mind replaying that time replaying that scene and how do you feel in your body just noticing what's going on in your body just noticing what's happening in your muscles just noticing what's happening in your breathing, just noticing what's happening in your facial muscles as you remember that time of your past where you were really happy. Being aware of your body, your breath, your breathing. Now letting that scene go, just let it go. Just switching your mind now to the present moment. And now in your mind's eye, keeping your eyes closed, now I want you to cast your mind back to a stressful situation that you had, either in your recent past or your distant past. Nothing too stressful, but some, something that happened to you where you felt your stress rev rev levels rise. What was going on? Just imagining that past situation in your mind's eye. Just playing it like a movie screen in your mind. So what's going on in your body now as you are imagining that stressful situation? What's going on in your body as you imagine that time where you felt pretty uncomfortable? What's happening to your breathing? What's happening to your muscles? What's happening to your body? What's happening to your facial expressions? Okay, deep breath in, let go of that thought. You're no longer in that stressful situation. It is a part of your past, let it go. Breathing deeply, out breath, let it go. Opening your eyes. Okay, so what happened in those two experiments? So did you notice as the first experiment when you were happy? Did you notice anything going on in your body? Was your body relaxed? Was your breathing relaxed? Was your heart rate relaxed and, and slow? And then what happened in the stressful memory? What happened to your heart rate? What happened to your body? You might have feel, feel your palms getting sweaty. You might have noticed your facial expressions starting to scrunch up. You might have noticed your heart levels raising. Your heart might have been beating faster. What was going on? Did you notice any difference in your body with those thoughts, with those memories? So this is to demonstrate to you that memory, if we keep thinking back to our past, 
when there's been stressful situations, our body is experiencing it as if it's happening now. And again, remember, your body doesn't know the difference between fantasy or reality. It just thinks it's happening right now. So you can imagine if you're going back and churning over old memories, old stressful situations or, or old comfortable, uncomfortable situations, you're bringing that into your present moment and your body is responding to that memory as if it is happening now. And so you can imagine what pressure and what stress your, your body's going under. Your immune system's going under. Your, you know, your your freeze, fight, or flight. Your your stress hormones are probably pumping out into your body when they don't need to be there. So just be mindful of that. That any churning over of old past memories that aren't serving you, let them go. Let them be part of your past. And if you find yourself in this present moment you know, a bit depressed or a bit unhappy, then you can call upon happy memories. So this operates in the opposite way that is making you feel happy and joyful will change your body chemistry, will change the way that your body responds, will change your mood just by what you're thinking. Because your body is so powerful your mind is so powerful whatever it believes your body responds in fact it's not only that your body responds your external space responds to it too